So tell us what the most staggering and shocking statistic that you heard today. Uh, the doctor told me he would have risks, and there were some things like the risk of damaging your colon somehow was like one in 10,000. But the thing that hit me the most was, uh, he said the risk of, of getting colon cancer because you didn't have a screening colonoscopy is one in 54. One in 54 people will get colon cancer because they didn't have screening and correct any polyps or anything like that ahead of time. And now I kind of feel like I have a new lease on my body because within the last two months, I've gotten a pap smear, a mammogram, and a colonoscopy, and they've all been good. And so that encourages me to keep eating healthy and you know, keep doing good things for my body. So you have a clean bill of health and it, it makes you happy, I'm sure. It does make me happy. And relieved. And relieved. You're not getting any younger. No. 51 this year. Yeah. So when you were getting the procedure, mm -hmm. unsedated, mm -hmm. how, did you feel pain or were you nervous? I wasn't nervous at all. I have been more nervous going to the dentist, okay? I don't know why. The doctor set me at ease. I had done a lot of reading beforehand that said that primarily there was cramping, but not any real pain because I don't think your colon has any nerve endings in it. So, and your colon twists, okay? So you're gonna feel something while it's twisting up in your colon, but it's not pain. So basically they had me lie on my left side, okay? And you know, yes, you feel it when it first goes in, but once it goes past that area, you don't feel anything anymore. And it's almost like if you've ever been pregnant and you feel a baby kick, or if you've had really bad gas, you know, and you get like a little, like a cramp, you know, that's what it felt like. There was never any point where there was pain. So why do you think, you know, sedation's even offered if it's not that big of a deal? Well, I think just the process itself is scary for a lot of people. A tube up your butt, okay? I'm sure that's very scary. Women who have had babies before, you know, and have gone through that pain and the process of having yourself exposed like that, I think you kind of get over that. Um, I mean, I felt it when it first went in, but that was it. It was no different than exam, an exam at my gynecologist, really. So what, what, what was your, how did you come to the decision that you did not want sedation? I'm a little bit of a freak. I've had bad reactions to medications before. I've passed out before um, taking medications and had rapid heartbeat and just really freaky things and I I prefer not to take medication like that for anything. I had three children with no drugs whatsoever. And yes, it hurt, but you know, women did that for thousands of years before there was pain medication. So, you know, I don't feel like I'm any, I'm special for doing it. I feel like it's just my personal thing. I don't want to feel freaky. Do you think having a doctor that was pro no sedation was a, a big key factor? Yes, it was, because I think if he would have been like, mm, I'm not so sure about this, you know, don't really like to do it this way, I think that would have put a huge damper on me. And he even said in the room while he was doing the colonoscopy, the, the nurses were like praising me. He's like, you know, part of it is her attitude. She came in here like, I'm gonna do this, and I, and I feel success, and I think that was part of it too. You know, knowing that I wanted it, and I felt like I could get through it. So in 10 years, when mm -hmm. you have to get your second colonoscopy, mm -hmm. is it gonna be no sedation No also? sedation, and I've learned one valuable lesson, okay, from this colonoscopy. Put the desitin on your butt before <laughs> you start going to the bathroom. That was the worst thing of it for me, is my butt is sore from wiping it, okay? <laughs> Put the desitin on your butt before you start going to the bathroom every five minutes. So, um, any final words um, of encouragement yes, or I've had, thoughts? I've had one friend pass away from colon cancer. I've had one friend who's battling it right now. And I want to do everything I can to stay alive for as long as I can. And I say get your colonoscopy. Don't be afraid of it. Get sedation if you need to. That's wonderful. I have nothing against it for anyone. But just do it. Don't be afraid of it. It was, it took tops 20 minutes and I would do it again. All right. Well, I hope this video helps others. I hope so too. Stay healthy and get it done. Get it done. One in 54. One in 54.
see ya.